reaches out to her people. Hey everybody, back at Freedom Fest here in Las Vegas. It's a Dave Ellswick show. We do it on video as well as we do it on the radio. Famous Arkansan right here, Sheldon Richmond, who is a, of course, editor of a very important magazine uh, called Freeman, which is a great, great, great magazine. It, uh, is it totally just gone to digital now, Sheldon, no, or can no. you still get it in print? Yes, you can still get it in print. Okay. Ten times a year. Okay. 48 pages, chock full of articles, history, economic theory, political theory, all oriented for freedom and free markets. And that's important. Because I want to talk to the Sheldon about something that really always ticks me off. And that's when people say, well, look what's happened in America and how it's imploded. And it's all because of the free market and capitalism, those greedy SOBs. No, it's those greedy SOB corporatists is who it's been. And that is anything but capitalism. Am I correct? That's correct. We have not had free markets in, this, in a pure sense, uh, even really from the beginning. Government at all levels, and the federal level, beginning really, uh, beginning of the progressive era and beyond, uh, has been involved with business, giving subsidies, protection, bailouts, guarantees, all those things which totally rig the free market and keep it from being a free market. The housing crisis and, and the financial debacle that followed that is a perfect example of that. that is not the free market. Now, well, let's talk a little bit about, for instance, the health insurance that uh, that the government was uh, is still contemplating, which I still think we can derail. And uh, who was behind the scenes writing it? Insurance companies? Walmart? I mean, for goodness sakes, that's corporatism. That's corporate entities writing things that are going to benefit them and for their competition normally puts a boot on their throat. Is that correct? That's right. I mean, if you look at the, uh, the Obama administration, some people tend to think it's, oh, it's anti-business and, and it has engaged in some anti-business rhetoric, but he can't be fooled by the rhetoric. Look who he's closest with. Jeffrey Immelt of GE uh, holds a big post. Uh, advisory uh, uh, Commission on Jobs, the Export-Import Bank, which exists to subsidize Boeing and other big companies to sell their products abroad. This is not the free market. And the free market, as Milton Friedman you like to say, is a profit and loss system, not just a profit system. You know, we, we saw this too, too large to fail routine that, that came through. This is corporatism again, because the government makes up the winners and the losers now. They decide which corporate entity succeeds and which one loses. Right, it puts its thumb on the scale. Even this big debate about uh, closing tax loopholes, why is the government even in the business of deciding who gets a loophole, who gets an exemption, who doesn't? That's the government picking winners, trying to bias things one way or another. Obama, who says he doesn't like corporate loopholes, loves them when it comes to green technologies. He, so he has his failures. This is not something government's supposed to be doing. At most, it was supposed to be the neutral ref referee, like in a basketball game. Not helping one team or the other, just making sure the basic rules of you know, not hitting people over the head, not stealing from them, or abided by them. Period. All right. Sheldon, of course, again, an Arkansan. We'll get him on the show. We have to pause now here on the video because we don't go as long as we can on video. Can't get it all on you know, the, the site. So Dave, it's Dave Ellswick at Freedom Fest in Vegas. We'll talk to you later.